Hi everyone. I Aditi Tiwari along with my teammates Ashna Kapoor and Avida Mittal are going to present our final year project under the supervision of Professor Avinash Kumar Sharma. Our group ID is 1 and the project title is Alphabet Organization of Sign Language Using Machine Learning. So, let's discuss the problem statement of our project. One of the major issue that our society is dealing with the difficulty that people with disabilities have in share their feelings with normal people people with having speech and hearing impairments can communicate through sign languages or gestures we see that deaf and dumb people face difficulties in expressing their feelings with rest of the people this is because the normal people do not show interest in learning sign languages due to this a communication gap is there in our society which limits the opportunities for deaf and dumb people so we have made a project which helps common people to understand the sign languages and gestures without learning them this project aims to design a model which can recognize sign language alphabet hand gestures and convert it into text and sound using machine learning approach the main goal of this project to break down barriers to communication between people with disability and the rest of our society in this way the deaf and dumb people can easily connect with the rest of our society so we can see here the different gestures used for each alphabet in sign language now we are moving to the literary survey so next i will be discussing with you all that how we have built the foundation of the project and what all we have done so far till now we have read some research papers in order to understand the different methods used by researchers and the problems they faced during the implementation with the help of the research papers we got to know different methods that were used and most importantly we got to know what were the limitations and the accuracy count there were many limitations that we found in the research papers for example many researchers said that they have obtained 100% accuracy only if they exclude certain alphabets otherwise the accuracy was not 100% that is for example in in a research paper alphabets like c l m n r u with these alphabets the researchers were getting only 80.76% accuracy if the researchers remove these seven alphabets from their uh, from their project then only they were getting 100% accuracy so through this survey we also added some features in our project so that we can have a maximum accuracy and efficiency possible and fill the gap that is prevailing in our society now we will be discussing our problem statement and proposed solution for it now moving to our proposed work uh, we see that people with disability can interact using sign languages only we have seen our in our literary survey that several approaches were tried to solve the problem of deaf and dumb people so in our proposed work we have come with an idea to develop a machine learning model through which the deaf and dumb people can easily interact with normal people or we can say the normal people can easily understand the gestures of deaf and dumb people without actually learning them for this our proposed solution is the proposed solution has been divided in three major parts the input part pre processing part and the output part the input part consists of taking the input image which is the hand gesture of the people the pre processing part and the processing part converts that input image filters it apply many feature extraction procedures and fit the image to the machine learning model the model finally identifies the gesture with the help of the training it has received and finally we predict the output the output label is depicted on the screen and we have also added the sound in this way the output gesture is pronounced through the media module so now moving forward to our implementation part in the implementation part we have divided our work into five major things the first part being the database collection we have collected our database from the kaggle website so the kaggle website we used about 3000 images per alphabet and downloaded that dataset using that dataset such a wide variety of dataset was very helpful in increasing the efficiency of our model secondly the dataset also helped in the better understanding of the things after that comes the training of the model 
in the training of our model we have used inception v3 which is a pre-trained model and the technique which we have used was transfer learning through transfer learning what we do is we use a pre-trained model and train it to our specific requirements to achieve better accuracy and greater results after the training of our model we downloaded our model and then comes the pre-processing and hence segmentation part when we run our code the first task is to detect the hand as the rest of the part is irre irrelevant for us after we detect the hand and separate it from the rest of the image we do some pre-processing part do some feature extraction convert it into grayscale and finally we extract the label on the basis of the input images which we have given in our data set finally the feature is extracted on the basis of the model which we have trained now moving to the classification part the prediction which we have done finally gives the correct output of the label in the classification part and the output is depicted as a label in the screen the screen output is finally converted into speech through the gtts model of python library the gtts is the google text to speech library which can be Im implemented with python easily what it does is it takes the input in the form of simple text at, and convert it into voice so finally we get the speech of our label this is the total experiment and implementation part now moving forwards to our google colab file on the google colab what we have done is we have trained our model through the method of transfer learning as we have already discussed so on the google collaboratory we have imported various libraries such as torch torch vision numpy matplotlib etc we have also mounted the google drive so that we can save the images and other things on the drive itself now what we have done is we have applied several transformation functions and we have imported the data set applied many transformation and pre-processing on the images itself and finally what we have done is through the help of certain epoch epoch here means iterations so through certain number of epoch what we have done is finally we have trained our model and we have downloaded our model which we can use in our code for implementation purpose so from this google collaboratory we have downloaded our trained model which we are going to use in our code structure now moving forward to our code structure overview in our code structure we can see that we have several folders here the major folder is the images folder where we have the images saved the models folder have the model file saved which we have downloaded previously from the google collab this is the inception v3 model file which we have downloaded now the camera.py file is the file which opens the camera for the live module working the infra.py file connects the main file and the camera file and all the other files the main.py file is the major file which we run and from where our code is finally executed the requirement.txt file consists the list of all the modules which are required for implementation finally we have the voice.mp3 file which is the audio file generated finally at the output stage now we are moving forward with our implementation part this is our project structure where we can see the different folders are present now starting with the anaconda terminal in this anaconda powershell what we do is we run our python command to run the main.py file we run the command python main.py using this command finally our project will get implemented first the camera module is opened then here we can see the hand is recognized segmented with the help of a box now we show our gesture and finally by pressing the escape key we can identify the label identified label is o here the label is identified by the module identified label is w and the voice over is also played in the background now finally we are going to stop this project 
and move towards our result and conclusion part. So, if we talk about the result, the Inception V3 model gave excellent result in classifying the sign language gesture. And the accuracy we have achieved for the sign language is 98.99% and training loss of 1.46%. So, if we talk about the conclusion, in this presentation, we have discussed about the problems faced by the deaf and dumb people in communicating with the normal people and our proposed project for solving this problem. We have observed that using transfer learning is very efficient approach. We have used the pre-training inception V3 model, which is based on the CNN and deep neural network algorithm and trained it on sign language data set with 3000 images per alphabet. This large data set helped us to achieve great accuracy for sign language recognition. The problem encountered in previous work, like less accuracy in some selected single-handed alphabets is also solved as we have achieved similar accuracy for every alphabet. We have reached the conclusion that there are several shortcomings and we have also proposed solution to overcome those shortcomings and make this existing system more user-friendly and more efficient. Thank you.